going to show you the five foundational passing concepts in Madden and how you can do them out of trips tied in. And then you can take this video and literally apply it to any formation that you want and it will make you a better passer. So five foundational uh, passing concepts in Madden. I actually have a free ebook that teaches this. I will leave a link to that in the description down below. This is one of my favorite little frameworks for looking at the game because it really does look at timeless principles that apply no matter what year of Madden that you're playing. So a couple of audibles we're going to set. We're in the Packers playbook here, and uh, we're going to set the play Y in as one of our audibles, and then we're going to be coming out here in either PA counter go or the play curl flat. Now, due to the fact that we have verticals, I'm going to go ahead and use PA counter go, um, but you actually, you know what? No, I will use uh, curl flat. So I'm going to use curl flat. So the first foundational passing concept in Madden is the slant post concept. It's also known as the shallow concept in the real world, in the real life uh, football. And essentially here's what the concept is. The concept is a post route, a deep in route, something like that, a deep crossing route, something like that. And we're gonna pair that with an underneath route of some type, whether that be a Texas route, whether it be a slant route, whether it be a drag route, whether it be an in route, some kind of underneath route, right? So what I like to do here is we are just going to streak our tight end. Uh, we're going to be in, in in curl flat. It has a nice post route, right? So we're going to streak route our, our tight end here. We're then going to come back route our outside receiver. And then I love to use the Texas pattern. From there, we're going to motion block our running back just to give us some extra protection. And what you're going to see is this post route will absolutely kill man coverage over the middle. And again, you want some kind of man-beating post. And that post can also do a couple of different things, right? Uh, for example, this uh, specific post route that I'm showing you here out of trips tight end, it is going to be able to do a really good job of attacking any kind of like double Mabel because this post will get deep enough that it will literally beat every zone drop in the game. And with the tight end streak, when you pair that post with the tight end streak, the tight end streak will clear out all the deep zones and the post will basically get it over the top of them, right? So that is one version of that. Uh, I'm going to show you another version of that as well. So in the NFL or in college, and, and really where I picked this up was watching uh, Mike Leach coach, but basically uh, here's here's the idea. So this is drive post out of trip side in, and what you're going to see is a little bit different. It's a little bit sharper of a post route. So we're going to basically do the same concept now, but we're going to do a couple sl uh, slight tweaks. So one of the slight tweaks is we're going to use a motion slant, and then we're just going to put our running back to the flat or block him, whatever you want to do. And what you'll see is now you get that that shallow, and you can see there it's going to be wide open. Now, again, a couple different ways to skin a cat, obviously. So another way to run this concept in really a more two-by-two two fashion would be to utilize a drag and a comeback route. Really good combo there on the left with a uh, running back flat or a running back block and release pattern paired with that deep post. This is a more traditional shallow car, uh, cross concept here. And you could even uh, invert it or mis mismatch it here. You can do it like this, you know, as well. So anyways, the idea here is just you have a high low in the middle of the field. And then that also typically will lead to a high low on the sideline as well. So that's a shallow cross concept. It can beat man. It can beat zone. Uh, it is very good. Again, if it's man or if it's zone, what you're looking really what you read here is if it's if it's zone coverage is you're looking to that post route. If they climb to go defend that post, then we're going to check down to that sh that uh, drag. If they stay down like they did right there, then we're going to take the post over the top. The next concept we're going to show you is the cross concepts. Personally. Probably my favorite concept. So what we're going to do here is we're going to zig our middle trips receiver. We're going to put our outside trips receiver on a deep in route. We're going to streak our tight end, and then we're going to block. Or uh, you could block your running back, or you could put him on a little flat route, out route, whatever you want to do. The basic concept here is we have a streak, we have a crosser, and we have a backside dig. That crosser is going to have to be usered. It's going to get over every zone in the game. Hopefully, you're seeing kind of a theme. We make them user a big hitting route, and then we have a check down that's going to come over the middle in the space that we think is going to be vulnerable. Now, a really good adjustment to something like this could be that they did this kind of defense here where they have a yellow zone in the middle of the field. This is where the zig route becomes very valuable this year because the zig route can beat man-to-man. 
So because the Ziggurat can beat man to man, if they don't have a hard flat over there, we'll take our little Ziggurat and get our, you know, five to 10 yards, or we'll drop the ball. One or the, you know, Canarius Tony apparently rejoined the squad here. Um, but the, the Zig's going to be open. Okay. The Zig is going to be open. Uh, Madden 24 is, you know, it's just the way the game plays. It does weird stuff in practice mode. But we know Zig's beat man this year. So you see here, oh, he's not in a flat. Okay, I'll take my, my Zig and I'll get about 10 yards against that defense. So let's talk about zone real quick. So again, I, I like the verticals crosser because it will beat 30 yard clouds. Uh, so they have to go user that. So you'll see here, they have to go use the deep crossing route. And that's really the whole beauty of the cross concept, right? Is we're forcing them to use her a route and then there's going to be something open backside. So what you'll see backside here is this deep in route late in the play, going to come over the middle and you're going to be able to hit that. And that's the cross concept. Very simple, very effective. Notice that that cross concept, it attacks the deep right side of the field. It attacks the middle of the field. It attacks both flats. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call the sail concept, which is going to attack the deep left side of the field in this specific uh, formation. So what I like to do for the sail concept is uh, make it look as close to the cross as I can. So we're gonna streak our outside trips receiver. We are going to zig our slot. And then on the back end of this, you can really do whatever you want. I love to just put a basic curl route. And what you're gonna see here is your corner route is now gonna be the route that we're looking to hit over there on the left side. Sail traditionally is not as good of a man beater um, especially this year. Corner routes are not as good against man as they have been in years in, in years past. So just keep that in mind. But the, the principle is this corner route, you'll see here cuts to the sideline and it should beat man. Doesn't beat man right now uh, as well. And, and part of that honestly uh, is practice mode. Part of that is practice mode. The whip route also will beat man. So they have to hard flat to take away the whip, uh, which is again, why I love zig routes this year. And then uh, you'll see here, this time we actually get a little better separation. We still drop it. Awesome throw by Michael Vick, just textbook. Um, it's because I'm running the play action the wrong side. But anyways, um, that's that's the route combo. And then and then typically what will happen is they'll go user that or they'll go to the left. So when they see a concept like this, they typically go to the left side of the field. So when they go to the left side of the field, this is what's cool about this play this year. This curl, if you throw it right on the cut, right on the break, it's going to beat man. And you can pair this curl with whatever you want to do backside. So, for example, let's say you want to do a little uh, running back out route. And now you have, you know, a five out version of this. This is really good as well. And then let's say a little bit more. I mean, this is a little bit more zone specific. But this is a pretty good zone beater um, because of how good the trail route is this year. So you'll see that trail route cooks man as well, by the way. So you could kind of mix and match what you want to do on the back end of this. But the main concept here is we're trying to attack the deep left, the, basically we're trying to attack the left side. We're trying to attack the deep sideline, the intermediate sideline, the flat area of the field, and then, uh, and then you know, maybe a little Texas route over the middle. And, and again, you can kind of piece this with whatever you want to do. But having something coming over the middle is always good. So they have to keep their user in the middle of the field. And so this really puts a lot of strain on the defense, especially if the defense has decided, well, you know what I want to do is I want to play, um, you know, a little bit more heavy to the right side and the user is going to help a little bit more over here. A concept like what I'm showing you right here is going to be a really good way uh, to attack that. So you see here, you got your little whip route, um, no hard flat over there. I could have thrown the whip, but I also have that nice deep corner over the top. So cross attacks the right sideline, uh, sail attacks the left sideline. So now what, what are they going to start doing, right? Well, what their natural response is going to be when you start to attack them in those couple different ways that I was showing you is you're going to get a defense that looks something like this, where essentially we're going to have heavy sideline protection, but we're not going to have middle of the field protection, right? The big area and space that's going to be open is going to be the middle of the field. Okay. Uh, so what I like to do is utilize a stick concept in that scenario. And typically you can do it a couple of different ways. Uh, what I like to do here is we're going to hitch uh, the circle receiver. We are, or I'm sorry, we're going to zig the circle receiver. We're going to uh, Texas right our running back streak this defender, right? Or this uh, tight end. And then we're going to curl 
this outside player. What this does is it attacks the middle of the field. So the tight end is going to clear out the user, and then the running back's open there, and then you also have that right there. So again, they're, we're forcing them to use the, the post, right? It's the best route on the play. So because we're forcing them to use the post route, where are they going to go off of the snap of the ball? Well, they're probably either going to go to the left here, or they're going to work to from the tight end to the post, right, typically. So what that does is it leaves this middle of the field open. And again, there's a lot of things that we could do here in the middle of the field that, you know, we're not going to, you know, spend a ton of time on here. But basically, the idea is have something that is attacking that pocket right there and the same pocket on the left side. Now, a true traditional stick concept would look something like this. And actually, this is a pretty good setup this year. Um, and then and then having the running back taxes. This 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 could work very well as well. And it's because of the fact that again, where are they gonna what are they gonna have to do with their user defender, right? What are they gonna have to do with their user defender? They're gonna have to use your your, um, your running back route. They have to, they have to take the running back route, right? So because they have to take the running back route, and because we have that that flat pulling out that vert hook at the snap of the ball, we can throw this little hitch right in there. That's a traditional um style stick stick play okay so last but not least so now they have to have um a lot of underneath protection right so now you're going to walk them into a defense that looks something like this it's very common once they want to stop stick and sail and cross and all these different variations right so this is where the seams concept comes into play and that's verticals so with this what we're going to do is we're just going to put our running back on a streak and we're attacking what's known as the seam area of the field on both sides. First and foremost, please hit this seam route up the top of the defense. Very good read uh, or a very good route for attacking cover two. Now you're noticing that this vert hook does match it. Um, that is, it does match it, um, but there is a ways around it. For example, um, another really good way to set up the seams is to put the running back on a little bat uh, underneath in route. And then what that does, you notice it, it holds the yellow zone underneath. So you could do that uh, if you wanted to. But really, the, the bottom line here is the this specific concept, there's a couple of things that are going to be open, and it kind of depends on what they're doing. But if they're truly trying to take away your stick, your, your shallow, your sail, all those things, then they're going to have that corner on the right in a hard flat. And this is where the tight end corner um, now we have that high low over there as well. And so you see how they're having to, right. They're having to, to take a lot of stuff. So now, and I'll show this real quick. Let's say that, you know, they're in this concept and they're running this, we go to verticals and we're trying to attack the seam area of the field. Watch that slot on the left and watch this guy on the deep sideline. So now that area of the field is going to be more open. So what will they do to, to stop that? Right. Well, what they'll do is they're going to take this guy, they're going to get him way more outside, get these guys more outside, and then, you know, now you've got this middle of the field. So another cool way that you can attack the middle of the field in this would be to go to something like this as well, where we're attacking the deep seams. And now you'll see that this, this uh, number three receiver is going to be able to run up the seams and they're never going to, they're never going to get there because he gets that, that nice positioning. So the bottom line is, guys, stick, shallow, sail, seams, and cross are staples. In every offense that has ever been put together in Madden, these are the best ways to run them. And you can piece them together. So, like, this right here is a shallow concept. But guess what we were walking them into a lot? We are walking them into a lot of different cover twos. Um, a lot of, you know, heavily adjusted cover twos to try to take away underneath stuff. So then we could go to something like this, which is going to take away or take um, advantage of these deep half defenders in the middle. And you could potentially get this guy up and over the top. Now, right there, we weren't able to get it. We would need to leave the wheel route for some reason in this year's game. Uh, cover two deep halves, they actually play a lot better than they have previously. But if I went to a play uh, like this YN and I use a slant route, what you'll notice is this wheel route on the left side will take the deep half. The slant will take the other deep half. I'm getting crazy match from my man. My, my vert hook is my vert hook is crazy. Like the, the vert hooks in this game are so good. If you're not using vert hooks, please use them. Uh, because as you can see right here, they just do random stuff. 
Um, <laughs> they just match. They, they do. They match well this year. Uh, probably the best year, in my opinion, uh, for vert hooks. We'll try it again. A lot of this has to do with the bumping here. So you see he gets jammed inside. That's crazy that that actually plays that. That's insane. Look at that. Um, that's crazy. That that's that's like if you didn't if you didn't pick anything else up from this video, the concepts are great. Vert hooks do some stuff. Uh, vert hooks do some stuff this year. And again, we can manipulate that. I'll show you. So if we want to truly manipulate a vert hook, and they don't have a hard flat over here, just boom, because he has to match that vert hook has to take the the deep seam. So, anyways, uh, easiest way to manipulate a vertical hook, real quick, is to not go to the number two receiver. So. Uh, let's go Pat's, uh, Pat's Y in again, and we're just going to flip who's on what routes. So just by flipping who's on what routes, you see here the vert hook stays down, and now this guy has a chance to get over the top. Deep halves are good. <laughs> I have to tell you, deep halves are really good. Um, and then I'll show you one other thing with that. So, and again, I already talked about this a little bit, but the idea of, of again, attacking in the seams. So something like this. And what you'll see here is now the circle receiver can hit up the seam. I'm telling you, use deep halves. They're so good. But basically, that's the idea. Some kind of seams concept. I'll give you one other seams concept because I don't really like how that uh, that last part happened there. You could do this right here. Running back text or running back wheel with a seam. Boom. And then if the running backs matched up on a linebacker this year, we know that that beats man. Okay. So stick, shallow, cross, sail, seams. Best ways to pass in Madden, and you can apply these principles to every formation in the game. And if you want to get my free book that goes a lot more in depth on these concepts and actually really dives deep into why they work, it's free. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.